Hey everybody. All right. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, find, sign up for, and begin studying for the Fortinet NSE4 certification. And if you don't know what that is, that's Fortinet's FortiGate focused security certification. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career. All right, so getting right into it, there's a few things that you should uh, know before you, you go down this path, before you start the journey uh, of studying for a certification at Fortinet. Uh, so the training site is training.fortinet.com. You can see that here, uh, but there's some other important links. So one is their documentation library. So docs.fortinet.com. Uh, the other is their knowledge base, kb.fortinet.com. And then finally, the the how-to repository documents. Uh, this is called cookbook.fortinet.com. And I'm gonna link all of these in the uh, in the description below. So go ahead, uh, don't worry about copying these right now. You can you can refer back to that later on, but um, you will use you know docs, KB, cookbook, uh, when you need to uh, build out your study guide. These are gonna be invaluable resources when you're building out the study guide because as I found out, um, even though the training videos are free in the NSE Institute, you don't get the PDF study guide that employees and partners get. So I'm gonna help you work around that. I'm gonna help you build your own study guide. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But first, we need to get you registered. So step one, uh, you need to sign in or you need to create an account on training.fortinet.com. Uh, I found the easiest way to do that is to click login. Uh, you're gonna choose public because you're not a partner or an employee. Uh, and then go down here to sign up, fill in this information, click submit. It sends you an email with a clickable link. You'll click this link. All right, so uh, at this point, you've clicked this link. It's redirected you to here. Now, I got a little ahead of myself and didn't record how I did this, but I'm gonna show you in a minute. But when you log in, you're gonna see NSE1, NSE2 assigned to you. They're gonna be in, in the resume status or in progress. Um, you can skip those, those are non-technical certifications. They just teach you the basics of the Fortinet product suite. Uh, so if we are focusing, which we are on the NSC4, we're gonna go over here to the library. And then on the left side here in NSC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and other technical courses, we're gonna go ahead and click four. And then you'll notice here that there is FortiGate security and FortiGate infrastructure. It's not that there's two exams, it's that there's one exam, uh, but they split the topics up into security focused topics and infrastructure focused topics. So now, like I was saying, uh, let's go ahead and you click FortiGate security, for example, you wanna click enroll now. And enrolling now, when you click that red button, it adds the class to your dashboard. So if you wanted to also, uh, you know, air quotes, enroll in the NSC4 uh, infrastructure. You would go back here, click that, click enroll now. So now when you come back here and sign in, it'll take you to your dashboard and your dashboard will have exactly what you see here. So this is kind of an important part here. Um, you don't get the, the training guide PDF, the study guide PDF that uh, internal you know employees get. So um, you get a course description, which doesn't do you a whole lot of good. Don't even bother downloading it. You do get access to the videos here, which are very, very good. Uh, you get access to some sample questions here. And then at the end, there's the uh, certificate of completion. It's not your certification. Just don't even worry about it right now. It's uh, not of much value to you in the study process. But uh, let's get right into how I can help you make your own study guide so you can pass the NSC4 the first time around. All right, so clicking in there will pop up a new window, and this new window is how the videos are delivered to you. Now, the video is in this big pane on the right side, and on the left side, you'll see um, an overview of the content in the video, and underneath them, there's numbered, uh, numbered items or bullet points. My suggestion to you is, because I've used the study guide, I know, I know what's in it, and it's exactly what you see here. This is basically the study guide just put into a different format. So if you wanted to make your own, go to each of these headings and then subheadings, make a bullet point, write these down, put them into your favorite digital document process, whatever it is, and then go to 
uh, let me see, go to uh, docs.fortinet, go to kb.fortinet, go to the cookbook and fill in the blanks on stuff that you don't know. So for example, uh, SPUs. If you don't know what an SPU is, I would go to docs.fortinet, kb.fortinet.com, search SPU, put the definition in there, boom. That's a bullet point in a study guide. So you can go ahead and work through, and these videos are, are pretty good as well. Uh, if, if you learn better through video, that's, that's a great option for you. I know I learn best by making a study guide uh, and then labbing it out. Uh, now, I'm not going to cover labbing in this video. If you want to do some labbing, uh, I'm going to be making another video that's going to show you how to how to get the VMs, how to get them uh, downloaded, how to activate them, and, and how to uh, network them together so that you can you can do some FortiGate labbing on your own. But uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, there's Once you're in, it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got the videos. Uh, hopefully, you've got an idea on how to make the guide. Uh, you've given, I, or I've given you access or the knowledge to access the, uh, the documentation and the knowledge base for Fortinet. Uh, let me know what you think. If I miss something, let me know in the comments. Um, I, I really look forward to, to seeing what people have to say about this and I hope this helps somebody out. And again, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans where I help you level up your cybersecurity career and I'll see you around.